What's up YouTube? How you guys doing tonight? Hope everybody's having a great night out there. We got ourselves a box. Which box did we get? DC Legacies. The DC Legacy Box. That's right. And if you want your own Legacy, or I should say Legion of Collectors box, we'll leave a link down below for you guys if you guys are interested. Um, I do not know what's in this box, I'll be totally honest with you, um, I've seen no spoilers on this whatsoever, I've been very busy working lately, so I haven't really had time to invest in looking. So, without further ado, we are going to go ahead and open this bad boy, aren't we? So, yep. da -da -da. -da. or did you want to use your knife? Uh, doesn't matter. Okay. Alright, so... Always cut away from you. Yes, I know that. And we got a patch and pin on top, don't we? Yes. Okay, patch and pins on top. To patch and I do believe my pin's rolling around in here. I never have the best of luck on these because they always, the patch and pin, either come disconnected or the pin goes flying off somewhere. So, without further ado, yep, the pin went flying. Show them the pin. What pin do we have there? I think that's a really cool pen, actually. It is the Swamp Thing. Yep. Let me try to get it in there. Yep. Get it in the focus. Focus. There we go. You guys see that? Very nice. And then, the patch we have looks like the comic book version of the Green Arrow. Very, very cool. Went kind of old school on us there. That's pretty cool. It is the late legacy box, so correct. All right, yeah. <laughs> he's in his own little world today. All right, so let's see. We got the oh, well, we got like a comic book on top here. So let's see that. We got the spoiler book, spoiler card. We'll save Don't that for last. That. All right, so we got a very cool comic. It is number four fifty two. It is the Adventure Comics starring Aquaman, and it has, looks like, a Mantis on there as well. In the good old pop fashion that they do. And as always, it is printed in Canada. I don't know why, but it is. Those Canadians. <laughs> Alright, so, son, you want to pull out something out of there? Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, our shirt. A t shirt, alright. Ooh, it looks like a cool t shirt. Can you get it open? It looks like it's not supposed to be. Let me see. Let me see. It's a Batman one. Is it a Batman shirt? I don't have any it's Batman It's a Batman sh dog. <laughs> it's a Batman dog? Yes. No. Is it really? Yes, that's a Batman dog. It is. Ace. The Bat Hound. Okay. Very cool. I like it. It's different. I like it. Very different. Very different. Ace. The Bat Hound. Da da da. Alrighty. Very interesting. Very cool, huh? Yep. All right. Go ahead. See what, what see what we got in here. Do we have two pops or do we have something else on a pop? Um, I don't know. Uh oh. Uh oh. Careful. I'm trying to get it out without ruining it. Okay. It's plastic man. <laughs> plastic man. How fitting. Plastic man. <laughs> that is really neat. That is really neat. Check this out. Plastic Man. And I have a I haven't heard from him in a long time, man. There we go. Looks like he is a only standalone pop. Let's get him out and check him out. Huh. Yep. Very cool looking pop. I definitely am liking this pop. Check him out. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Well, no, he, he's he's a uh, he's in the comic books, but man, it's been a while since I've seen or heard anything about him. That is Plastic Man. Check out his body. His body is so contorted. 
that is just freaking amazing how they did that. That is a well done pop. That is yeah. a very, very well done pop. I really, really like this one a lot. Very unique, very uh, obscure character as well. So that is very cool to see that. Good job, Funko, on that one. I really, really like that one a lot. All right, go ahead and get the last item out there, son, if you would. Okay. Well, I make all sorts of noises here. Whoa. Well, this is interesting. Now, we usually get the mugs, but this is, I believe, our first salt and pepper shaker, and it is Batman and Robin. And let me tell you something. There, I don't mind this. Um, it is something different. Now, if they would do something like this and then something else from the pop home line and you know just keep it keep it a variety of things that would be really awesome so this i don't mind at all this is very cool i actually really like these very cool choice I'm with the box. oh the box's interior is pretty cool too ain't it got superman yeah. and all that good stuff all right so without further ado let me get these out for you guys so we can share them with you. They are the salt and pepper shakers, Batman and Robin. There's Batman. And as you can see, da -da -da, and there's where you put the, the stuff in. And I do believe he is the salt. You do believe he is the well, salt? Well, maybe not. He may be the salt. He may be the pepper. I'm not sure, because this one has four holes in it. I'm used to like three and two, but I guess you could choose which one this you want. This is wanted. probably the pepper. But there's Robin in all his glory. It's he's, very cool. I, he's salty. Oh, he's salty? <laughs> okay. He's salty. All right, so salt and pepper shakers. Very, very cool. I'll have to put those out there where we can use them as salt and pepper shakers, huh? Make my house all sorts of geekiness. So, very cool. Um, so, let's see what our spoiler card says. Okay. Um, the, the Plastic Man first appeared in Police Comics number one in 1941. Originally a criminal named Eel O'Brien. He gained his powers in an accident and decided to change his ways. Plastic Man can stretch and contour his body in any force he wishes and was also a member of the Justice League. So there's some little information for you on him. If you're not sure who Plastic Man is. Very cool. So I, I'm really glad they included that. You could have got two different shirts, so that's really cool. You could have gotten Ace the, the Bat Hound or you could have got Crypto the Super Dog. Huh. So I wonder if anybody got a different shirt than I did, that was really cool. That I like when they do that. I love when they put like, you can get different things. Because I think that makes things interesting and I really like it. So then we got the salt and pepper shakers. The Swamp Thing Legion of Collectors uh, pen and the Green Arrow patch. Along with the Aquaman comic book. So overall I'd say this is a pretty good box, don't you? Yeah. What was your favorite item in the box? That would have to be the t-shirt. The t- you like the t-shirt? Yeah. The t-shirt is pretty cool. I like that a lot. Ace. The Bat Hound. My thing, of course, I'm going to have to go with the pop here just because it's such an obscure character to me, at least to me. And uh, I really think they did a very fantastic job on that. So good job, uh, Funko, on that pop. I, you guys did a really good job. I really, really like this one a lot. So... That's it for our DC Legacy Box. Let us know what you guys think down below in the comments. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And make sure if this is your first time, you hit that subscribe button, right? What yeah. else do we do? Like, comment. And thumbs up. We'll see you guys later. And Have a good one. Bye-bye. Hit the bell for notifications. Hit that bell for notifications. See you guys later. Bye-bye.